I'm Dr. Bill Adams, and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Adams, Chief Medical Officer of the Plastic Surgery Channel. We're here at our new show, PSC Hot Topics, where the experts on the Plastic Surgery Channel provide you insights to the hottest current topics in the specialty. Joining me now via webcam is Dr. Steve Antrobus, a plastic surgeon from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Steve, thank you for taking the time out to talk with us today. Thank you, Bill. Glad to join you. So, Steve, you, you treat people with skin cancers every day, doing both the Mohs microsurgical reconstruction as well as the uh, removal of the cancers. There's almost an epidemic of skin cancers now uh, across the world. What do patients need to know about skin cancer? Well, first of all, just how common it is. It's something that most of us will face the risk of getting one of these, and it has indeed reached epidemic proportions. Um, there's really two things that cause these. We say, first of all, the amount of sun that you've soaked up over the course of your lifetime, and then also how sensitive your skin is to the sun. And you're certainly more prone to get them if you have fair skin, blue or green eyes, blonde or red hair. Uh, but we certainly see a lot of people with dark hair, dark eyes that tan easily, uh, they get uh, these cancers also and even though they may not be as sensitive they soak up a lot more sun they're less prone to use sunscreen it's important to realize also that you get sun on cloudy days you get sun in the winter time you get sun through the car window so what we recommend is a daily sun protection uh, the good news is the products have gotten uh, better and better they're not sticky they're not greasy they're not smelly uh, we recommend putting something on every day just as important as showering uh, and brushing your teeth and we recommend that we start this with the children in, in childhood. Studies have shown that the daily uh, sun protection in children reduces their risk by almost uh, 80%. Uh, but it's not anything, it's not something that anyone is really immune from. Uh, we're all at risk for this, and the best way to uh, prevent this is that daily protection. So, obviously, prophylaxis is, is, is important, as you've talked about.